Shalom, my friends. How are you doing this week? I hope everybody's having a good week. Well, today we're going to talk a little bit about the Torah portion and more. And it's talking about the Shabbat and the holy days of the Lord. All our, our celebrations and holy convocations and Shabbats and our parties. Are you ready? So, the first thing we should do is to look for a Hebrew calendar, a Jewish calendar, because we should mark and circle all the holidays throughout the year, which is a different calendar than the calendar that everyone is using out there. Well, the Hebrew calendar is a biblical calendar that is going to mark the months and the days totally different than this calendar that we follow here in America. So, for instance, the first month of our calendar is January. And usually January is cold, it's winter in this country. And um, uh, according to God, the first month of the Hebrew calendar is spring, is Aviv. And is where everything is brand new. The baby, the baby birds are being born and the bunnies and the lambs, everything, the flowers, the green, everything's being born again. It's brand new. It's a brand new year. So therefore, according to God, the new year should start in the spring where everything comes to life. It's a new life. So once you find a Hebrew calendar, we're going to look for the months and the days and circle all the holy days. The holy days are Shabbats. Those are the days that we celebrate with a big party and we get together with our family and friends because it's a holy convocation to the Lord. So it's a very special day. So we should know that all the holy days usually falls on the first month of the Hebrew calendar, which is called Aviv. Say after me, Aviv, Aviv. And the seventh month, which is called Tishri, Tishri is the seventh month and so those are the fall feasts well we have spring feasts aviv and fall feasts in the fall in the tishri so we're gonna go through them and hopefully we will mark our calendars and we'll not forget them this year because they're very special to god it's like saying it's um a special celebration to him and we are invited and we should be there right so we don't want to forget about it well the first holiday that is in leviticus 23 if you forget this you can go to your bible in leviticus 23 and so over there you're gonna find all the holidays including the most important one that we all should know it's shabbat shabbat is celebrated every week every time uh, every seventh day every friday night to saturday night we do not work and we get together and we celebrate shabbat we usually have a beautiful meal and we have our loved ones around right so you all know shabbat and that's the number one holy day that god made for us because he made everything seven days in six days actually and the seventh day he rested and made it holy a day to enjoy. We are going to enjoy with him, aren't we? So don't forget Shabbat is the seventh day, not any other day that anybody tells you. Trust God. He knows better. Well, the first um, holiday that we celebrate every year, once a year, is Passover. And is the first month of the Hebrew calendar, Aviv, Passover is the 14th day of Aviv in the evening and with Passover we start the feast of unleavened bread where we can't eat bread that is puffed up with yeast no yeast in our bread for seven days so that's called the feast of unleavened bread and we celebrate for seven days the first day of unleavened bread is a Shabbat. We should not do any work. And the seventh day of unleavened bread is also a Shabbat. So we can mark 
for seven days, very special. We have two Shabbats that we don't do any work. The next feast we're going to talk about 